Let's take a look at the Mini2B components. On the control panel, we have the pressure set dial to control the process pressure, the hydraulic pressure gauge, the emergency stop button, the motor on and off button, and the PLC, where operational controls are located. On the processing side, we have the inlet reservoir, the intensifier, the priming valve, the emulsifying cell, or EC, the heat exchanger, the back pressure gauge, and the back pressure valve. To operate the Mini2B, first ensure the inlet reservoir is filled with product and the system is primed. Press 1 on the PLC to enable normal run mode. Turn the pressure set dial counterclockwise for the lowest pressure setting. Then, turn the motor button on. Turn on the intensifier pump by pressing the on button on the PLC display. Process pressure is displayed on the PLC. Turn the pressure set dial to adjust the process pressure anywhere up to 3,100 bar or 45,000 PSI. Your product is now being processed. You may collect or recirculate your product. At the end of operation, turn the pressure set dial counterclockwise until process pressure reads zero and press off on the PLC to turn off the intensifier pump. Turn off the motor button. Cleaning the Mini2B is easy. Simply run water or solvent through the system until the output is clear. Product contact parts can also be disassembled and autoclaved. In summary, the Mini2B has an operating pressure up to 3,100 bar, a flow rate up to 22 liters per hour, is easy to use and clean, has more options for greater experimentation, and is scalable to manufacturing.